How is it going all of you beautiful people watching? My name is Jack and welcome to another Forza Horizon 5 video. <clears throat> and some of you may know that E3 is coming up this weekend on June. It is June 11th today and the Xbox Game Conference is on June 13th. So to stay updated with everything Forza Horizon and Xbox stuff, make sure you hit subscribe and like and comment and press the bell to keep updated with anything I'm posting on this channel. <clears throat> now let's get right into today's topic of discussion and today's topic is going to be on E3 itself when the dark screen comes on and it goes Xbox Game Studios presents and then the Forza Horizon 5 trailer so we're going to be talking about that right what I want to see on the day and the hour of the Xbox game conference I can imagine there will be a few major titles I think they'll start with possibly Halo then go through another few big titles from Bethesda because obviously they bought them recently so I think they're going to want to start the show off strong showing what all the brand new things they've got especially from Bethesda then after these few minor titles I think they will bring it all back to Xbox again with dropping the Forza Horizon 5 trailer and I think what will happen is when we'll go black it will do Xbox Game Studios presents and then we'll get like a glimpse over like a Mexican like desert up into like the city area I think we'll get but some of us might not know that that's Mexico because they'll show that like near the end with some flags and stuff but obviously some people will know that that is Mexico as they might be from there or have been there so I think that is how the trailer will start with panel looking at the new probably skybox they'll have made because it seems they're making a new one every single year for some reason I don't know but I think that's how it will start and then I think the trailer will like fade into darkness like it usually does bringing up screens of text so what is going to be returning what's coming what's going to be in the game I think a major sticking point is the online because in Horizon 4 if you have played it you know the Horizon online isn't brilliant it always disconnects sometimes it just doesn't connect to you at all you have to restart the game sometimes you just turn the Xbox off just to get in an online session it shouldn't be this difficult so I think they should adopt try both I think they'll do have the seamless online just keeping that as the standard which I'm sure they'll have to improve and ditch the what was it 82 people online because you never see 82 people so I'm only what I'm going on about but I think keep that but then say oh we've got private lobbies as well like they did in Horizon 3 two and one you could have just a private lobby that you can control maybe you may be able to control the weather the time of day the traffic stuff like that which is something obviously the devs can do which might make the player feel like more interactive with the game that they can control how their lobby is presented but then obviously if this going to a normal online or normal horizon story it's just all the default it's the seamless multiplayer and stuff like that but i think adding these private um lobbies again will be something that will definitely get touched on in the trailer if that is a thing which we all hope will be then they would introduce new features possibly having the choice of having indicators possibly making the car feel more personal i guess and then going more personal having the room of window stickers window banners because they are in some cars and they're not in others they're only in the forza created cars if you know what i mean like the race cars and stuff that obviously have these window banners but we can't put them on ourselves which i don't understand what the major problem is because they are in need for speed possibly what we could see is when the trailer ends is when it like it usually like pans out over an area of the map that the Forza Horizon logo will pop up and we have seen that it is slightly different font because they're sort of rebranding it. I don't know if they'll rebrand it with this one. I don't believe they will because it is still on the previous generation slash current gen but isn't of Xbox One which I have can't afford a Series X because I'm poor. But 
Um, I think they'll keep the standard Forza Horizon. I think it will be five. I think possibly because I touched on in the last video about Forza Motorsport not being Forza Motorsport 8 being just Forza Motorsport that Horizon 6 could just be Forza Horizon rebooted on the Series X which is definitely a possibility that might happen and with new colours it might not be pink, it might be blue, it might be green, who knows but with new cars such as the A90 Supra definitely will have to be in the game because of they do have the Toyota license now because they're bringing them back in Horizon 4 with Lexus so we could see, well I'm sure we will see something to do with the A90 Supra in the trailer at some point and then possibly, I'm not 100% sure on its name but I do know it is the Mastretta sports car that is built in Mexico that that could be a sign that Forza are really trying to take in um, the map in that location that that could be something that might be on the cover on it might not be the main i'd probably doubt it would be the main car but similar to most of the horizon games there would have been a main car in the middle and then one off in the distance if i i do horizon 2 it just had the one the hurricane but in horizon 3 it had the chen scenario and then it had the ford raptor on it, then in Horizon 4 it had the Senna and then the Land Rover. So we could see some sort of hypercar, some new sports car, um, and then a Mastretta in the background, something like that. Who knows? But the big thing that's happening in the car world right now is electric cars, which is something that Forza definitely should add because they weren't in Horizon 4. But Tesla was in Horizon 3, which obviously is a licensing thing, but sometimes it can't be helped. But I think electric cars should definitely be in this Forza. It should be its own category. I think where it says like sports cars, JDM, um, retro supercars, I think electric cars should have its own, or like super electric, something like that. I think it should have its own category. I think it will pan across a desert and then possibly we'll see the return of the infamous red regera that could be shooting off into the distance again which sparked and continued to spark the fact that it could be set in mexico from the series x trailer which was in the previous video but obviously all this is just entirely and purely speculation nothing is confirmed nothing is set in stone forza haven't said anything but i think they're keeping their mouths shut so they're not confirming anything but they're making the um, Microsoft insiders talk about something to do with it to generate the hype that it is generating obviously a lot of people are talking about Horizon 5 coming this year possibly in September but we'll have to wait and see what it says at E3 so in my next video I will go over the Japan stuff and Mexico stuff so for everything Forza Horizon 5, you are in the right place, so stay right here on this channel and watch out for new videos coming every day because this I'm going to treat as a job now, so let's just go with it. Every day, I'm saying it now, so I'm going to commit to it. Have a go at me if I don't, if I have a day off, ridicule me. But yeah, I do have a script here. And then again, if I am right about anything, just let me know. Just write down in the comments. It's pretty epic. Because I need to know that. If, I, if I'm right, I might not be. I might be so far off. It might be set in Japan. I really hope it isn't. But we shall see in two days from now. Or... I think it will be today. Yeah, this video will be going live on the 13th as well as another video probably will be going live later on today so stay tuned for that that's enough of me ranting on for today's video it was a bit longer so i do apologize if i've wasted your time but i hopefully i haven't so please make sure you do press like subscribe press the bell to ding a ling a ling anytime i upload a new video and comment down below what you want to see and just have a conversation with me i reply to i will reply to every single comment that i have 
into the near future. So, yeah, please do that, it will help out a lot. And however much and however long is left of your day, do enjoy it. Life is short. That got deep. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day and peace.